Hi everyone, my name is Annie and welcome back to my madness. If this is your first time visiting, then welcome. If you're back for more, then you're just as insane as I am. So I hope everyone's having a great day. I hope everyone is surviving well with everything. And today, I know it's been a while since I've done anything. It's been a interesting last few weeks. <laughs> we'll go with that. So I also wanted to wait until I got some things from Ulta that was on order. Uh, it took a little while for it to get here. Usually it takes within a week for me to get whatever I order from Ulta. This time it, pop my knuckles, it uh, took about a week and a half, two weeks for me to get my order, which is understandable with everything that's going on. So we're going to be going over the Pretty Fresh Foundation Concealer and where did that go? There it is. The primer, hydrating primer. These are all the hydrating hyaluronic moisturizer, tinted moisturizer, the hydrating uh, hyaluronic creamy concealer, and then the hydrating hyaluronic primer. So as you can tell, I'm worried about hydration right now. So maybe I should just drink more water. That helps. <laughs> anyway, you'll also notice my hair is no longer black. And... Uh, yeah, fun story about that. So let me put it back and we'll get started. So the reason my hair is no longer black, last week I decided to remove, I did color oops to remove the black color from my hair. And as that was in for the 20 minutes, apparently I didn't have it hot enough for it to really take the color out. It's very finicky apparently. Um, yeah, it was fun. So it didn't take as much of the color out as I wanted to, and it was quite, it wasn't dark enough for what I want to do with it next. So I then decided to put a bleach wash on it. A bleach wash is whenever you put the bleach, the lightning, uh, developer and powder in with a shampoo so it's not as harsh you don't have to use as much of it it's just supposed to kind of lighten it up a little bit or remove some color and so I did that and because I didn't research enough <laughs> like I usually do I didn't realize that using bleach right after using a color remover would make what's left of the color in your hair oxidize so that's why I have a natural color on and uh it's driving me insane it really is not having a funky colored hair and i i'm gonna try to do some more things with it later but for now primer this is like i said the color pop pretty fresh hydrating hyaluronic primer and as you can see it's very it's not really like thick because it can easily swoosh around in the bottle so we're going to start off with this. I have a clean face. I'm going to use two pumps. And I've been just trying to find a foundation or tinted moisturizer that just works on me. I've been watching a few more YouTube videos about how I'm putting it on wrong. Oh, that feels good though. And the kids are outside playing. It is a beautiful day here in Northwest Wisconsin. And it's just another day in quarantine, in paradise. <laughs> I hope everyone's doing well. What type of things are you guys doing in your quarantine, in your stay at home orders? I know me and the kids have started or t are starting a garden. So we have that going for us. And I have the ColourPop Pretty Fresh in Light 5N. This is a hyaluronic tinted moisturizer. So it's not as thick or as much coverage. It's definitely not a lot of coverage as say, if you were to use, oh golly, what was it? The Tarte Face Tape, that is a very full coverage, very full coverage foundation. So we're going to try all this stuff together and I'm going to put the lid back on everything because I'm weird that way. Anyway, so I'm going to be putting it on with a brush first. I'm going to use the Eyeshow E-I-G-S-H-O-W foundation brush, the F625. I got this 
on Amazon. It's 10 bucks just for the foundation brush. I've used it a few times and I think I just didn't have the right foundation to use it with on my skin or I wasn't using the right primer or there wasn't a mix of things. Um, it puts it on just fine. Uh, I will probably go with a, um, stop saying, um, beauty blender afterwards to just smooth everything out. So I'm going to grab my handy dandy mirror and it's not so thin that it's going to just drip off my hand whenever I go like this. So let's get started. I would normally, see it's a pretty good color match, gets a little bit of my red. I would normally put on eyeshadow first, but since I'm really just going over the foundation and everything, or sorry, tinted moisturizer, uh, I'm not too worried about the eyes. I might just go with a simple eye look. So I'm trying to be very methodical about how I put it on and just slather it on. And I have put this on once before when I first got it because I was really excited <laughs> and I enjoyed that first impression of it I thought it looked very nice on my skin I thought it matches my skin pretty well so I'm really excited to try it again I get to go pick up homework for the kids today so you know I don't get to go out often <laughs> and actually see people so I figured I'd get dolled up a little bit so like I said we are having a garden right now or attempting to start a garden the seeds are going yeah definitely with brushes you can see the lines a little bit easier especially my pores um just trying to pack it onto where my pores are larger so it doesn't show so bad and yeah i have lovely dark circles under my eyes yay so we'll be able to see how the concealer combats that. We started to try start a garden. We'll see if that does well. Hmm. What else are we doing? School. Lots of school. Anyway, I like the color pop. Just their products in general. I use the uh, Fifth Ray skincare line a little bit. Bring that down a little bit here so it's blended. So as you can see, it does look pretty good. It just takes a little bit of my redness away. It makes it look a little bit more smooth in here with my freckles and everything. Hmm, I, I'm ready for this whole thing to be over though. I don't want to be restricted anymore. I, I get the reason for it. Don't come at me for that. I get the reason for it. I just don't. I personally don't think it's a good idea anymore. That's my personal opinion as I think that it's hurting more than it's helping nowadays. So, but like I said, that's my personal opinion. Everyone's allowed their opinion. <sighs> it's scary to give your opinion nowadays, isn't it? Because you never know if someone's going to really just rip into you for not agreeing with them or anything like that okay so what do you guys think i think it looks pretty good especially with my mud colored hair i'm yes not a fan of i'm not a fan of natural color hair on me i'm not i know i have natural color hair somewhere so i'm going to use my beauty blender sponge to just even out everything i'm not going to put any extra product on it just going to kind of let it smooth everything out and i'll use this for the uh concealer as well but yeah i think i'm i think everybody has been stuck inside long enough that's my opinion is i think everybody's been doing well with the social distancing you see everyone wear masks you see everyone wearing gloves but i think I think it's time to be done with that. I really do. Not just because I want my small business to be able to um, to open up completely and actually have the possibility of being successful without all these restrictions, but also I just, I think the government's taking too much power and that's my opinion. 
that's I'm a, I'm a constitutionalist. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh, the Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. This is in the Fair 10 Neutral shade. I like the ColourPop stuff because I think for the foundation, I think was, I'll have to put that down below what the actual price on the foundation was. And I know that it was not over $20 for, golly, I don't even think it was, I think it was $25 for the primer, the concealer, and for the, the hydrating, the moist, tinted moisturizer. So I, it's not expensive. It's drugstore price, but it's a lot better quality than say, uh, I think Maybelline or CoverGirl. So I'm just using the beauty blender to just really blend it out and bring a little bit more highlight to my cheek area without all the sparkle. And I have lines under my eyes. I have, there's, they're not going away anytime soon. I did get the new eye cream that I want to try out. I'm still trying it out to see if it's doing anything at all. And I haven't given it enough time to really do anything yet. So what do you guys think of this? I think it's pretty good. There. I look a little bit more awake now. Only a little. Okay. So we have, I'm going to bring this down a little bit more here. The primer went felt very nice going on my skin and the tinted moisturizer went on very easy. It seems to match my skin shade very well. And the concealer, I'm going to set it a little bit with powder because there's no such thing as a creaseless concealer. It's, there's no such thing. So, I'm going to it can crease a little bit under here a little bit more as you can see when you get up closer. I'm a mom. I own my own business. I turned 35 this year. I I got wrinkles under my eyes. That's just how things are. I got wrinkles up here. Get over it. So, for powder, I am going to go in with my Becca Hydra Mist set and refresh powder. This is the powder that's supposed to be very um, cooling, very moisturizing. It uh, feels like you're putting water on your face, but when you're really putting powder on. So and I did wash all my brushes. I've only used a few of the face brushes like once, twice. So let me grab my brush. It took a long time to wash all my brushes. So I'm going to use my Tarte face brush. This is from the, uh, faith, uh, what is that called? Love, trust and pixie dust. So I will use this for just a little bit of powder, tap off the excess and see, there's really not much on there. I'm just going to use the beauty blender to blend out the wrinkles, put this on. I'm not going to bake. I'm just going to try to set it because Baking has never worked out well for me. It never has. So I'll just leave it at that. You can use your imagination to see how it turned out. So let's just kind of tap it, press it in there. The Becca powder is a little tinted, so it seems to have gotten rid of a little bit of the whiteness that you can see the white cast. So it's not exactly a bad thing. I'm going to grab my blender where to throw it. There it is. Same to the other side. Try to get it as smooth as possible before I add more powder to it. Mm -hmm. So I won't be able to do an all day wear test on this because 
It is currently 3.30 in the afternoon. All right, let's take out a little bit more, get rid of all that white cast. There we go, see? Not as bright. I'm gonna actually set the rest of my face with this as well. Tap a little bit into the lid and swirl it around type thing. That does feel cold whenever you put it on. So I'm yeah, I'm I'm going crazy staying at home with the kids. I love my children. I love my children. But they are going stir crazy themselves. Because it's not like when we homeschooled. Because when we homeschooled, we could still go to parks. We could still go to museums. I mean, yes, we're lucky enough to live where we live so I can take them, <laughs> don't breathe it in, for walks. But, yeah, I just don't, I'm tired of making them not come to the store with me. They can't come do parts runs with me. It's, it's discouraging to them, really it is. So I'm going to pop on some eye color real quick and I'll be right back, okay? And so this is the finished look. I use the Tarte, oh, where is it? Ah, here we are. I use the Tarte, what's it called? Be a Mermaid and Make Waves palette for my eyes. And I love, this is a beautiful palette. It has a lot of pretty shimmers and look at it. Just look at it. Anyway, I use this for my eyes. I use Jeffree Star um, Ice Cold for highlight. So that's this one. And it's just a nice white highlight and you can see it on my uh, underbrow, my nose, and just to show you just how beautiful that is. Just look at that, it's so pretty and shiny and sparkly. Anyway, I also use the Too Faced uh, Natural Lust Bronzer that I usually use because it smells oh so good. I'm not gonna do it right now. I also used a new mascara that I got. Um, I turned in some points for this. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes Mascara. And I had tried it once before and I wasn't exactly fond of it, but I decided to give it another try. The brush is quite... It reminds me very much of trying to put on mascara with porcupine needles. <laughs> but the mascara, I mean, you gotta see the mascara, they look great. So I can't complain too much, it's just the actual bristles themselves are kind of, you know, they kind of hurt when they touch your eyelid by accident. Anyway, for under eyeliner, I used my Thrive Brilliant Eye Brightener liner. What else did I use? Blush. For the blush I used from the Disney Designer Collection Floating Lights, it's the Rapunzel. One, it's just a nice little pink, little pink. Yeah, see, whenever I do all my hair and everything like this, and I put makeup on, I even put eyebrows, which was the NYX Brow Mascara in Chocolate. I like the brown. But I, it's going to be a different color next time you see it. I, I'm just telling you now, it's going to be a different color. Uh, what else did I use? Lipstick. I use the Urban Decay Kristen Leanne Bun Bun uh, Super Comfort Matte Lipstick. It is just a nice matte and on top of that I put an Anastasia lip gloss. It was from the Christmas collection. This is their diamond lip gloss. And it's just a very, as you can see, shimmery champagne-y color. So I thought it went with everything pretty well. So this is the finished look. The uh, actual stuff we were talking about. So that was the <sighs> ColourPop Pretty Fresh Primer, the Tinted Moisturizer, and the Concealer. So I think, let me scoot up a little bit here. You can see under my eyes right here, it's just creasing, and they don't look too bad. On camera, they don't look too bad. 
in real life, it the I think it was the powder that really kind of flubbed things up. And also me closing my eyes while my bottom mascara was still wet. Because we know how well that goes. And that's why it looks darker on this side than this side. Because I'm not that good. <laughs> anyway, I used the Becca Hydrating Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I've tried this mist before. I've had this mist before. And I thought it dried out my skin, accentuated my lines and everything. And I think that is actually what it's doing again. Because you can definitely see my wrinkles. It's not like they're gone or anything. It's not that the products are building up in my wrinkles or anything like that. I'm just... This just makes my skin feel a little cakey, even though it's supposed to be hydrating. Uh, I'm going to give it another chance just on my bare skin instead of with the foundation next time and we'll see how that goes. I might have to, you know, pass along to one of my friends who might find it better, especially if they have oily skin, it might work better for them. I uh, just, I'm not quite sure about it yet. The actual products I think went on great. I think they are looking like my actual skin but better type thing. I still have my freckles. I still have all my little spots and everything from, you know, being me. So I will see how it goes. I'll fill you in on how it went next time. I'm going to try to get a cooking video up for next time. I don't know what I'm going to cook. I might make Andy's cookies. I might make pretzels, I'm thinking. I don't know. It kind of depends on if I actually do my dishes or not. <laughs> so I hope you guys have an awesome day. Go ahead and like the video if you can, if you enjoyed it down below. Subscribe, share so I can grow my channel. I'm actually thinking of a few different things to try and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, well, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy the beautiful weather. If you have beautiful weather, if not, brush your teeth, eat your vegetables, go to sleep on time, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.